What's up guys? I'm Will Knopfsinger with Denison Yachting and we are here in Cannes, France for the Cannes Yachting Festival once again. This show is a marathon. It's six full days. There are tons of yachts here that you don't get to see in the US. It's an awesome place to check out. We're on board of Vandervalk with my people out of the Netherlands. This is an awesome explorer yacht. It's all about sustainability. It's all about longevity. Every square inch of this yacht is designed to provision and keep you off the grid for as long as possible. She's got a steel hull, an aluminum superstructure, perfect center of gravity, and we're gonna go check her out right now. So we're gonna start here on Felis's aft deck, coming on on this passerelle into an expansive area. It's a killer spot, starting up top, We've got a heater. This yacht is designed to go anywhere. The Netherlands builds yachts to the nth degree, so going to places like Iceland or Norway, no problem. This can be enclosed, so that's gonna maximize this. We've got our dining area here, nice built-in bench seating. When that passerelle's in, we've got access to the swim platform on both port and starboard side. Huge windlasses, nice little serving area, and a big space back here that leads directly inside. When we step inside Felis, we'll take a moment to praise the guys that got together and designed this yacht. Diana Yacht Designs and Guido Groot both came together and put together an awesome package. Every one of these yachts is custom tailored to the owner's specifications. This one's no different. You look around at all the soft touches, the nice blend of stones and woods and leathers. It all came together really nicely. And in this yacht, the package feels very comfortable and much like a house. So we'll kind of walk around in here, look at the freestanding furniture and see how you could take a yacht that is used like this and make it your own, but also point out all the details and craftsmanship that make a Vandervalk truly elite. So Motor Yacht Felis is 99 gross tons, which for a sub 24 meter platform is impressive. It's got a nice open flow coming right here into the galley. You've got your formal dining area here, a nice size galley, really geared towards a family and owner operator setup. This being combined allows everybody to be together. So if a family wants to cook and kind of mingle or have guests over, nicely laid out for that kind of thing. But again, we see what Vandervault can do. This range of yachts from their Explorer series really starts at this size range and goes up to about 40 meters. Uh, there's been a lot of successful builds. Venera is one of those. Uh, there's, there's several of the Explorer series. They're all different, they're all unique, and each owner gets to put their personal touch on the yacht. This isn't a typical build where you get to customize a boat and change some floor plans and colors and things like that. This is truly, if you'd like to make this boat a foot wider, a foot longer, have a taller ceiling, anything you wanna do, Vandervalk will custom tailor their yachts to your decisions. This yacht really exemplifies that. When we start to see the maximizing of space and being able to fit everything that this yacht has into a platform that's only 78 feet is quite impressive. A great example of this customization is this galley. The owner is very into cooking. There's a lot of high-end appliances here, each one from a different manufacturer, but they were picked for specific needs and purposes. We've got our ovens, microwaves, even a warming drawer, refrigerator built in, concealed with the woodwork of the boat itself. Walking around, twin sink basin, Gaganau stove over there, and a nice touch here having a skylight. So when the group up top would like to communicate with somebody down here, it really lets in natural light and allows this space to feel more connected to the flybridge. Something else I really like about this yacht, floor plan wise, is it's nice and flat all the way until this point when you step up to take command of your yacht into the Flybridge pilot house. You start to see some bigger yacht tendencies like the door here that allows this to be isolated and your crew could run the boat or if you're doing a long trip and you don't want to be interrupted through more tedious terrain, great feature to have to segregate you from everybody else. Huge pilot house, that's kind of the focus of an Explorer yacht. This is all about the journey. It's not so much about the destination. And when you're here in the middle of nowhere, visibility's clutch, having everything right here, easy to get to, very important. All your systems are in one location. So stabilizers, navigation, engines, everything. There's not extra panels to go find. This yacht's all about simplicity and it's all about ease of operation. They did an excellent job of pointing this yacht. You've got zero speed stabilization. 
They're Humphrey, they're located here. It's a fantastic piece of equipment to have on board, particularly when you're going to more remote, rough locations. I think this yacht is gonna suit this family extremely well. They took delivery only about a year ago, but they've already put something close to 2,000 nautical miles on this boat. That's super cool, and it's what exploring is all about. From here, we're gonna go down, fly to stairs, and check out the four guest staterooms. There are three for guests and an owner's suite. Let's check those out. Welcome below decks on Felis. We're gonna start back here in the master. That's kind of the most important spot on board this deck. Nice full beam, most comfortable point of the yacht. You guys hear that all the time. This location on board the yacht is the most stable for maximizing your comfort. You hear that all the time. We'll focus on a couple things that make this an explorer, like how these windows are configured. You see the nice big stainless steel bezels. Everything can be locked down super tight for those crossings. That's very important. Again, down here, you feel maximizing the storage was paramount when the build was given as a brief. Huge storage space here, multiple hanging lockers. Again, this yacht is all about getting off the grid and staying comfortable while you're doing so. So king size berth, nice big hallways. It's a very well thought out yacht for you to really get out there and explore. A feature I really like that Vander Valk implemented here was having this exposed to the stateroom itself. There are pocket doors cleverly located so you can seal it off, but this gave you that full beam to beam feel that you're looking for in a master stateroom. We move forward past that staircase through the companionway. We've got our first guest stateroom here located on the port side. It's a side by side. I'm gonna let you guys jump in there, see what you think. There's a lot of cool little details in this yacht like the leather handles. It isn't cheaply done. It's not an afterthought. All the hardware on this yacht is super cool. We'll focus on some of that in a second. As we continued forward, we had another stateroom on the starboard side that's essentially a mirror image of what you saw on the port, side-by-side -side berths with a traditional vanity separating the two. Each room has its own head, which is fantastic. And then the VIP located all the way forward. Again, somewhat of a traditional layout, but there's a few things that got implemented up here. Mostly you note that there's this extra space here where they increase the headroom of this yacht and you've got these skylights to amplify the amount of light that pours in here. That was a really nice touch, kind of like what we saw up in the galley. So again, to round out Vandervalk's tailoring capabilities, this vessel could have easily been three staterooms, two staterooms, or just one giant master stateroom. The possibilities are endless, and that's one of the coolest factors when you're dealing with a yard like Vandervalk. The other great thing is that their price really isn't that much more. So if you know what you want and you're ready to build it, this is the place to do it. Heading back in the companionway, we've got a couple of hatches. Vandervolk does a nice job of not concealing everything so you can find what you need, access to all your systems, huge provisioning up front. And then as we move back, the details in this yacht were really owner specified, but I think things like this push lock are super cool. Just little touches that an owner can put into something and make it truly unique in theirs. We come out from a really elegant, soft decor package to a much more harsh environment. You see a lot more cornered edges, a rugged feel. Again, that Explorer yacht, we're gonna feel as we head forward up to the bow. As we move forward, you're gonna note nice tall gunnels, lots of grab rails. You got a door here that helps with wind as you're moving. A secondary entrance into the engine room, that's a nice feature to find. And really wide walkways. As you get further forward, this swoops upward and gives you a little bit more coverage into a quasi Portuguese bridge. That's a really cool feature. Nice look, but very functional. Up here on the bow, we'd have what would typically be the Portuguese bridge. It starts right here, but then segues nicely into the seating area. I really like having this space up front. It gives you a little bit more seclusion. Everybody on the docks doesn't see you when you're hanging out out back. So nice and intimate, a little more privacy. I love that everything's built in. Nothing can go flying or slide all over the place. That Portuguese bridge that we assumed we were gonna see has storage in it almost always. They still utilize that to either side flanking this seating area. Move forward on these teak decks. Important to note that Vandervalk always uses a minimum of 12 millimeters thick teak for their decks. They're gonna last a super long time and it's robust like the rest of the hardware you find up here. A massive Maxwell windlass, huge chain, Everything is overkill and built like what you'd find on something closer to 120 feet. 
That's the feel you get on every Vandervalk and that's what separates them from the pack. So we just came down these stairs and we're here in the engine room in the technical space of this yacht. We've got a little foyer, it's got a washer dryer, it's got a refrigerator, a freezer. There are two crewmen's located down here. They're both extremely large. The head's super nice. Again, we're on a 78 foot boat and we don't have tons of curves and sex appeal, more function over form. And that's really where Vandervalk shines. When you start looking around at all of the details, that's one thing, but what you don't hear, I think is the most impressive part of a Vandervalk. When you step inside of these boats, especially in the engine room and technical spaces, they're super quiet and it screams quality louder than anything else that you could possibly see. Back here to the aft deck, take the stairs up and check out a super cool flybridge. We step up to an expansive flybridge. It's the full beam utilized. It's a very square boat that gives you a ton of space up here and it's all one level. Got your tender storage back here, your davit. This can be configured any way you like. I like having the tenders in this aft area so when they're not being used, you can take them off the yacht utilize this space for sun lounging and enjoying the outdoors like you intended to. Move forward under a huge hardtop. Got some hardware here for an awning that'll raise up. You've got poles for a tension setup. Very cool to find and nice for when you're enjoying that space without the tenders on board. We've got our dining space here. Got great coverage from this hardtop. It's a huge hardtop. Over here on the starboard side, we've got our bar prep area. Again, this can be configured however you want. I like this space. It's an awesome prep area for your dining area. You've got your grill, refrigeration, all that good stuff. But here you start to see some attention to detail and how wood grains line up everywhere. If you notice at this seam, there's clearly a break, but the grain continues on. That's an attention to detail that you don't see on every builder. Up here forward, got a nice sun pad area. Awesome spot to kick back, relax, and hang out with whoever's driving this yacht. Most of the instrumentation that we find up here is the same as what we saw down below decks, just a little bit more compact. Excellent area to visually see where everything is on the yacht. Great visibility for docking. And again, it's a Vandervalk and these yachts are some of the best on the planet. And you don't have to just take my word for it. If you wanna to come to the factory and check out all that Vandervalk has to offer and how they can truly custom tailor anything to your exact specifications, Give me or my wife, Carrie, a call anytime. We'd love to meet you over there. Introduce you to Yori, Brom, the entire team over at Vandervalk. They're awesome folks, and we look forward to getting you there. Again, my name's Will Knopfsinger with Denison Yachting, coming to you from Cannes, France at the Cannes Yachting Festival. Thanks for joining us on board this Vandervalk. Enjoy the rest of the show.